Okay. Dawn back. Okay, so my heater uh, and motor. I uh, said I was going to put the new, leave the new. I keep going back and forth between the newer rotor and the older one that came with it. And there's only one real difference I can tell. I said I couldn't stop it before by grabbing it, but now I can on either one of them. It's not actually not that hard to stop. I don't know what happened. Taking it apart, putting it back together shouldn't have really made any difference. You can't get them wrong. They're the way it fits together. But uh, you could wiggle it. You know, you could wiggle the shaft. You could feel it wiggling up and down like that a little bit with the newer one. Like the bushings are more worn in that than the older one, like I was saying. A uh, 15 year old one uh, versus a 2 year old one, the bushings are better than the older one, evidently. But it still may be, you know, that the the whole thing is just old and worn. I'm, I'm going to plug it in. And uh, I can stop it dead by just grabbing the shaft. I couldn't do it before. I didn't think. Maybe I was scared it wasn't trying hard enough. But that feels to me like that's one good way to... Oh! It's getting hot. I've been leaving my jumper on there and not touching it because I knew it was too hot to touch. Well, I guess the jumper doesn't get hot. You know, obviously, the jumper doesn't get hot as quick as the... Uh, you know, it's just carrying the current. It's not heating up like the heating elements are. But it, otherwise, that uh, all that insulation would be done melted off of it, and so would the uh, little boot on the red one. There's some uh, melted-looking spots on that clip, but that's because it's something else I did a long time ago. I don't know what I did. Probably was touching it to something, and it was shortened. That's all I can figure. But I was probably just touching it instead of having it clipped on, you know. But, um, or I had something hooked up that went bad. Who knows? I don't know. It's very, I've had that, I made that back in the 70s, so, you know, it's lasted long enough. Yeah. Uh, could have been anywhere from 75, somewhere, somewhere between 75 and 79, I think. 75, 6, 7, 8, no, 75 to 78 is when I made that. Because I remember the, these, uh, I had made a, several sets of them back then. So, anyway. Yeah, they've, I've got good use out of them. Um, the way I can stop it like that makes me think that it wouldn't spin that big old squirrel cage very well. Maybe it would. Maybe that's a, you know. Maybe it never was a whole lot, whole lot more powerful than that. But I could stop it like that with the other one. I, I almost want to say with the other one, it didn't stop quite as easy, but. The only way I could tell is swap them out again. I think I've swapped them out three or four times now. Getting tired. Of, it's getting late. I'm getting hungry for supper. It was four something, four thirty a while ago. I don't know what time it is now. When I went in the house. But you know, you just can't make something that's old and worn new again. You just got to get even with the new stuff. It might not be very good quality. It'll be pretty good until for a year, <laughs> maybe. I, I, but you know, 63, 65, 63 something, 65 dollars for uh, another one, as opposed to the other brand that's supposed to be better, but I'm sure it's not that much better for 130. That's two of those, so you know, buy one every every year or two, pain in the butt. But that's the way everything is now. Of course, and yeah. But if that other one, you know, the pan, the the one I'm talking about is the pan. This is a Braun, and the Panasonic brand supposedly is the be best reviewed. That doesn't mean it's, you know, things that are reviewed now. People, people are so forgiving now. I'm, I'm old. I remember when things were made good, and yeah, they were made in America too. Now things made in America, they have to build them like crap to compete with the low prices of, every, you know, the overseas stuff. But uh, you very you just don't find anything make very well anymore. The only thing I've seen in the last 20 years that was much good <laughs> was was uh, U joints on a U joints on a 1999 uh, Chevrolet pickup 
have done pickup that are still good to this day. So sealed U joints. Now those old those sealed U joints weren't worth a crap when they first came out, but those factory U joints. And I guess you know there's there's certain parts they make. We're always you know talking about everything, including cars and trucks not lasting. But there are some things they do make that last. But uh, I want to switch that out and see if it's any better. Okay, I'm gonna do it. What the heck? I'm gonna have to quit soon. I got well, I'm not gonna. I don't think that I would spend ten dollars on a new oh I was gonna put that other coupler on there and see if it would run before I swap that out I'm gonna put this on there and see if it'll run I don't I'm pretty sure it won't but let's do that that's what I wanted to do all right 